r slash ask reddit what celebrity tanked their own career and what's the story behind it rick moranus the guy from ghostbusters honey i shrunk the kids space balls etc not because he did anything wrong he left hollywood and let his career die because his wife died from cancer and he decided to focus on raising his kids stand up guy hope he's doing well unfortunately not chris brown it always amazes me that even after he beat Rihanna he was still one of the most popular musicians. TJ Miller. Dude had a brain tumor removed a while back. Taking out part of his brain and then he got arrested for calling in a fake bomb threat in 2018. Absolutely nuked his career. I love Silicon Valley and it just wasn't the same after he left. In saying that, I much prefer him as an actor versus seeing him do stand up. DMX for those too young to remember he was huge in the 90s and early 2000s with multiple top albums and songs on the billboard rap charts. He had trouble with the law, guns, drugs, animal cruelty, his whole life. In 2004 though, he had multi-platinum success and was still relevant and touring regularly. He was supposed to catch a flight from JFK to a concert where he was performing. He never made it to the plane. Instead, he got super high on crack. Pulled a random guy out of his car in the parking lot, claimed to be a federal agent, and stole the guy's car. He left behind his own, far more expensive, vehicle. Edit. Thanks to everyone who posted DMX stories, anecdotes, or anything. I wish he was our president right now. If I had nickel for every time I fell asleep on the 2 train listening to it's dark and hell is hot and woke up in Wakefield I would have at least 15 cents. What's my name? Jesse Smollett, edit, wow apparently even saying his name now gets people in a tizzy. Michael Richards, played one of the most iconic TV comedy roles as Kramer on Seinfeld. Post Seinfeld during a stand up routine fans were taunting him and he went on a racially charged rant dropping the N word. It was recorded and his career was absolutely toast after that. Jerry Lee Lewis, arguably one of the founders of rock and roll managed to completely destroy his career just by getting married. OBTW he married his first cousin, once removed. She was 13. He was 22. It was his third marriage, of an eventual 7. This one lasted 13 years until she filled for divorce citing that she had been subject to every type of physical and mental abuse imaginable. Lindsay Lohan anyone? I wonder what her life would have been like had her parents not been so ducking awful. Dina and Michael Lohan were like stegeparents on steroids. Katherine Heigl is famous for being a massive beach who no one wants to work with. I think she managed to piss off everyone in Grey's Anatomy so they wrote her character off. Same with the entire cast of Knocked Up. She went from being huge in 2007 to 2008 to being a ghost now. Mel Gibson famously torpedoed his career in 2004 to 2006 with multiple anti-semitic and racist outbursts and such. He went from being a massive ducking star in the 90s to being persona non grata for like 10 plus years. He's still not back to where he was now. Lauren Hill has famously destroyed her career since the early 2000s. After the Fugees made it big she went solo with one of the biggest debut albums ever and then frequent diva behavior has made her the ultimate has been. Definitely the judges who bullied the contestant on Zfactor New Zealand. That outburst was just so bizarre. The guy shows up with maybe the most common men's haircut and wears a navy blue suit and she says he's stealing her husband's look WTF. There are millions of guys who wear that exact combo every single day lol. OJ Simpson. It may have already been said in here but Macaulay Culkin, home alone. And honestly I think it's a good story. He was just tired of being a child star and wanted a normal life. While some people make fun of how he looks now he's just living life and having fun. He has a band called Pizza Underground where they sing about pizza and tell jokes. I just think it's good to see some of the celebrities that tanked but for good reasons. CeeLo. He said there was nothing wrong with spiking women's drinks. I'm surprised nobody has mentioned the Dixie Chicks getting themselves basically blacklisted from country music after criticizing Bush. Not ready to make nice is pretty awesome though. Orlando Brown turned crackhead former Disney star. For a split second there I was like wait, Legolas does crack? Chevy Chase, 
The man has had endless opportunities, on both movies and TV, and yet he is consistently regarded by his peers as an unrelenting a-hole. SNL cast hates working with and around him. John Lovitz, Will Ferrell, etc. The kids from Community, well, adult actors and actresses who played college kids on the show, have come out and said he was the hardest on set to work with. I just don't see how someone can have so many opportunities to be at least halfway decent, and always managed to find a way to be the biggest a-hole in whatever room he was in. Amanda Bynes. She had an early success in her acting career and retired at age 24 because she had a downward spiral, entirely fell off the entertainment industry. Didn't she have some kind of severe mental health issues though? Paul Rubens, aka Pee Wee Herman, the wholesome fun for the whole family entertainer. He was caught fapping in a porno cinema back in the day when they had porno cinemas. Why did he not get porno videos like everyone else back then, before the internet? Taylor Lautner, he disappeared off the face of the planet after Twilight. If I recall correctly the movies he was in after didn't do well either. Monique, she refused to participate in campaigning for an Oscar after she was nominated for her role in Precious. It started a feud of sorts with the director, Lee Daniels, which led to her being blackballed, or so she claims. She hasn't really worked again since winning an Oscar, which is pretty odd. Also she got in a feud with Oprah which you don't do if you want to survive in Hollywood. Can't believe no one has said Azealia Banks yet. 212 was like, audacious, groundbreaking shit. Sadly she is known for her numerous Twitter spats rather than her music. I personally feel like she might have EUPD which went untreated. Combine that with growing up in the spotlight and having an online platform to be very reactive on. And, arguments ensued. But like, could 212 have been written by a medicated Banks? I don't know. It's a very unique, ballsy song. Kevin Spacey. He was raping underage boys long ago and it came back to bite him in the ass when one of his victims stepped forward and accused him of the crime. Since then I don't think he's been in a show or movie and one of his shows on Netflix was cancelled I believe. We're all aware of Charlie Sheen. Although still a legend top the cake of ruining it all within a brief moment. He couldn't keep his dong in his pants, and his addiction spiraled quick. Jared from Subway 4, you know. Does it make you feel better or worse that Jared, a, ate at that Subway so many times a day because it was literally beneath his apartment and he was super infatuated with a girl who worked there, b, started losing weight because she transferred to the Subway across town to get away from him. But he started walking there instead, C. Ran a porn rental service out of his apartment over the subway in the earlier days of the internet, D. That subway is literally half a block away from a school full of children, many of whom either walk to school or walk to the subway for lunch, source. IDK man but the dude went to the same high school and college as me and isn't drastically older than I am and I've heard all of those things separately from multiple unrelated people, including teachers of that school. And ducking everybody knew that dude's a creep. Look at his creepy little beady eyes. Elizabeth Berkley killed her career with showgirls. No one could take her seriously after that. That pool sex scene lol. Mara Wilson. Although, to be fair, she didn't tank her own career. She was a cute kid and a very successful child actress. But she grew up looking like an average person. Instead of someone who could be cast as a sex symbol. And just stopped getting work. So she got a college degree at NYU and I think she does smaller stuff. Voiceovers. Podcasts like Night Vale. Had a small part on Broad City. She writes. Basically. And she wrote a great piece about child stardom and what a minbuck it is. Not just on her behalf. But looking at people like Amanda Bynes. She tweets. She's written great pieces about child stardom, and she's just an awesome person. She wrote an autobiography I have yet to read but it's amazing to hear a child star write so candidly about having to give up on film. Not because of bad choices or self-indulgence, but because they got tired of being cast as the fat ugly friend. It's sobering stuff. T.I. When he decided to take to the news and say that he has his daughter's gynecologist perform a virginity test, or assure him of her virginity, each time he takes her there, this was when his daughter was 18. 
I would be surprised if that ruins his career, even if what he said is ducking disgusting and abusive. David Icke in 1991. He was a household name, ex-Coventry goalkeeper, BBC sports commentator, and the Terry Wogan show, in full view of the nation, believes he is the son of God and that the world will soon be obliterated by earthquakes and tsunami, taken in by a Russian forgery, the protocols of the elders of Zion, itself no more than a criticism of Napoleon III with the names clumsily altered to refer to the Jews instead of Napoleon III. He believed that a secret group of alien reptilian humanoids called the Babylonian Brotherhood created and controls humanity, and that many prominent figures are reptilian, including George W. Bush, Queen Elizabeth II, Chris Christopherson, and Boxcar Willie. In recent years he has degenerated into little more than an anti-Semitic neo-Nazi. Paula Dean, her deposition said enough, edit, didn't ask with a second question the first time. How is Andy Dong not at the top of this list? I don't know how he hasn't been beaten to death yet. Fatty Arbuckle comes to mind. He was a highly successful comedian actor known in Hollywood for his physical comedy throughout the 1910s, sort of like the original Curly from the Three Stooges or Chris Farley type. Near the end of the decade he was offered an exclusive contract for some outrageous sum of money. In 1921 he and a couple friends were in a hotel and a woman was seen entering his hotel room. A couple days later, she died of a ruptured bladder and Arbuckle was accused of raping and killing her, blaming his body weight for the ruptured bladder. Anyway, it was a huge scandal involving and going through several trials. His career never really recovered. Edit. To clarify, he was accused and not actually guilty. The accusations, however unfounded, are what killed his career, though. Steve Ranazzisi lied about being in the World Trade Center on 9-11. Also, Jan Michael Vincent was a super good looking actor in the 80s that got a little too into drugs. Do we need to know who Jan Michael Vincent is to get it? Kid who played Anakin drove into a cop car at 100 miles per hour. Obviously he got arrested. Lloyd was bullied throughout school for ruining Star Wars. It messed him up. Jennifer Grey. She was the unconventionally cute lead from Dirty Dancing. Which was a huge hit, she was set to be a breakout star, but she fixed her nose and became just another interchangeable young actress. Courtney Love, in addition to being the front woman of Hole she acted, until she called out Harvey Weinstein. If Harvey Weinstein invites you to a private party at the Four Seasons, don't go, after being asked if she had any advice for young actress just getting started. I'm sure someone has said this already, but Chris Taylor Brown from the band Trapped, he isn't exactly a celebrity, rather a guy who had one hit song 18 years ago, Headstrong. He's been going on this weird rampage of tweets lashing out at people who don't like him and his opinions and flexing the amount of listeners he gets on Pandora. It's surreal. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.